everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about pruning jujubes and kind of the basics behind that. Um, there's certainly a couple things that you guys need to know, regardless of whether or not these trees are in containers or if they're in, in the ground. It doesn't, um, it doesn't matter, the same principles can be applied. Um, you'll notice here on the jujube trees that I have, is that there's some really thin, this really thin growth here. And uh, you've also got the thick stuff here, and it's kind of just a bit of a weird mess if you look at the tree right now. You know, there's all these real thin, these thin branches here and here and here. Um, you know, all that thin stuff, believe it or not, is just gonna come off, just like I did. I pulled that off. So all this stuff is kind of a bit, well, this one maybe could have hung on, but a lot of this thin stuff is not gonna do anything for you. This is a lot of the time, um, I think it's growth that has fruited. So if this is fruiting wood, or maybe it's the opposite, this is the, the growth that didn't fruit, because when the jujube leafs out in the springtime, it leaves out uh, one fruiting wood and two vegetative wood. So the vegetative growth, uh, one of the two, either it's the fruiting wood or the vegetative growth, I think it's the vegetative growth, is the one that becomes permanent and allows the tree to continue to grow. Um, so you can see down in here, we grafted this variety called Zhu Zhou this year, and it grew all the way up here all the way up and kind of actually branched out a little bit and got a nice little shape. So, um, you know, you certainly can get pretty decent shape off of a new graft. Um, and it even fruited, and this is what these little fruiting branches are. And you can let these naturally fall off. They will eventually fall off. Um, I doubt if they'll actually grow for you. You know, the wood is certainly dead. You can um, do the scratch test. There won't be any green in that. So with that knowledge that half of the wood that you've grew last year is not going to be permanent, um, you want to prune the permanent stuff, and that's really all there is to it. Um, you know, that's the basic knowledge right there. So if I look here at this jujube, this is my, this is a new variety I got last year from the nursery called Sugarcane, and this guy is pretty tall. Um, I know that's tough to see, but... He branched out quite well up there and it's a bit of a shame because I want these trees to kind of grow outwards rather than vertically. Um, I was really hoping that some of these lower branches would do something. Uh, it just didn't happen like that. So what I'm going to do to sugarcane here is actually just take the tree back just to a certain height that I like and that's, that's it. So we pruned that off. Here's what's left over. And if people would like to graph this, if you're in the, you really like jujubes and you want to grow more of them, you can just simply graft them. I mean, it was very simple uh, for me grafting them this year. Like I said, this is Zhu Zhou here that we grafted onto Lang. So, and you know what? A lot of your grafts, if they're uh, a precocious variety, will fruit for you that year. So that's what we're gonna do with the sugar cane. Um, we're gonna come around the other side to visit Honey Jar and Lee. And you can see here that Lee is my oldest tree. And a lot of the branches have just grown sideways because the fruit load was quite heavy this year. Uh, lots of wind in this location. So we're actually gonna just take a lot of this growth out and bring it way back to kind of correct that that problem that we had. Um, but you can see, I mean, this is pretty much, guys, how this is gonna go. You know, it's not really rocket science. I'm just pruning this stuff for shape and form to get a nice little structure going um, that these things can reliably put out new fruiting branches on every single year. You can see there's a whole crap load of fruiting branches. If I can get this camera to focus, which, we're using a new camera. Hope, hope you guys enjoy this quality because it's certainly a much better video quality. Um, 
But this is a lot of fruiting branches I just pulled off. Here's at least five or six that are not permanent. And this will happen just every year. So those are really the basics, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. Just prune for shape, for form, get some nice symmetry going. You know, prune the tree in the direction that you guys want. If there's one side of it that is, uh, you know, kind of short, prune the other side to match that, get the tree to a nice shape, and just be aware of the fruiting branches versus, versus the vegetative branches and, and which of those will be permanent. So, anyway guys, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.